YTBC what's the deal so I'm gonna leave this article in the description box you can read it come to your own surmise but it says Luis Ortiz he gives this prediction for Fury versus Klitschko and he goes on to say uh, Klitschko has to throw punches because if not then Fury's youth and athleticism will take over like in the first fight that comment right there lets me know I'm not the only person that has this same feeling um I actually made a video a few days ago and I pretty much said the same thing, you know, um, so let's me know I'm not just a fan sitting behind my computer coming up with a crazy game plan. Uh, he's going to have to throw more punches, he's going to have to sit on his punches, like I said, throw that right hand and left hook and make it count. He has to take out all the grabbing. If he just goes in his fight um, trying to throw one punch and grab, one punch hold, it's not going to work in this fight. Fury has shown that he can beat that style. so. Vladimir has to come with a whole different approach, a whole different style. I don't think he can fight a grab, hold, fight better than he tried to in that first fight. That's been the style he's gone to over these past few years. It's kind of funny because um, early on in his career, he was a fast starter. And then when he got with Emmanuel Stewart, Emmanuel kind of slowed him down and showed him how to fight you know, uh, behind his jab and at a much more measured pace. But now it's like he's almost just one punch grab you know and he was able to get away with it against smaller guys and guys that wasn't as strong as him but these new crop of heavyweights I won't necessarily necessarily say they're bigger but they seem more athletic more agile just better fighters than the crop from about mm, six seven years ago I think this crop is a little bit better um but I don't see Vladimir Klitschko getting out of this WBA tournament I just think his era his run was great a decade you know he did his thing him and his brother both but i just think the era is coming to a close because um just in this wba tournament he has to fight fear if he gets past fury i'm pretty sure it's going to be luis ortiz we know ortiz has to fight alexander houston off i don't see houston off having the ability to beat ortiz i think ortiz will probably stop him quicker than cure bad pull off was able to um so yeah, if Vladimir does get past Fury, then he has to deal with Luis Ortiz. And I think these guys, man, they're not intimidated of Klitschko. Um, this isn't the same Klitschko. I said this after the Brian Jennings fight in a post-fight video. This isn't the same Vladimir Klitschko. He looked very haggard in that first fight. Um, he didn't look as strong in the clinch. He didn't throw as much as I thought he should have, especially when Jennings was just putting up a high guard and was there to be hit. Just Vladimir just did enough to win. So... Luis Ortiz shares the same sentiments as me as far as this fight goes as regarding this fight. Um, he's going to have to throw more punches, and I just don't think he's just able to do it. You know, like I said in my last video about this, uh, I just don't think we're giving enough credit to the help that Emmanuel Stewart was to Vladimir Klitschko. You know, and uh, he's dead and gone now, rest in peace. But I just don't think anybody's going to be able to get to him this, the same way that Stewart was able to. Maybe his if his brother's in his corner, but. Jonathan Banks just doesn't get it for me as far as being his uh, lead trainer during fight time. I'm not saying he can't hold the mitts and work with him in training camp, but just lead trainer position. Maybe it's not Jonathan Banks' personality to be boisterous and to get into your fighter, but Emmanuel was great at it, and he was a very small, diminutive guy, so it looked funny to watch a small guy like that work with heavyweights, but he knew how to teach heavyweights, Lennox Lewis, and he knew how to teach him to work behind a, a big jab and a right hand, and it seems like Vladimir is just the big jab and hold you know so if he does get past Fury somehow some ways we we'll have to deal with Ortiz and Ortiz knows exactly how Vladimir fights all, all these guys have been studying Vladimir watching him over the last nine ten years dominating you know and he's getting older and they've been watching you know it's not like nobody's living under a rock like we don't know who Vladimir Klitschko is and how he fights guys are catching on they're adapting to it and I think the division is changing over I just think I think the Klitschko era is gone. I think it's changing over for the good, though. Klitschko had his run, but you're not going to reign for 20 years. You know, I mean, he had his 10 years. I think the division's changing over. I don't see him winning this WBA tournament. Um, I believe that side of the tournament is, is very one sided compared to the other side where you had Chigayev, Lucas Brown, and Fred Zakendo versus this side with uh, Fury, Vladimir, and uh, Luis Ortiz. Um, but I think Ortiz is right, and I've said this before that Vladimir's going to have to throw punches. Just showing up, trying to throw one jab, and maybe a right hand and hold is not going to work. That's old. It's played out. People caught on to it. He doesn't look like the same fighter. I mean, he's approaching 40. 
everybody's not big George Foreman. You know, everybody's not going to fight until they're 40. So just like everybody can't go on a 10 year run like Vladimir, everybody can't, you know, fight until their 40s. But I guess we'll see come fight night. But I'll see Fury just like Luis Ortiz winning this fight again. YTBC, I'm out.